Hey, so there you guys, this is Supers, oh my god, barbecue, and today is a dawn of a new update, a dawn of a new beginning, because the heroic events are here, and we have much to discuss, because there's been a lot of changes, and some things, including one special secret that's hidden within this update that no one's really recognized. This new update has come with brand new animations, new team battleground animations, new pack animations. I'm not a fan, but I know there's some people who really like this font. It seems whatever, I mean, I'll say this now. On the names, I like it. On the procs, I like it. On the stats, those numbers need to go, man. They need to disappear, because those are just, I don't want to be negative, but yeah, not a fan, not a fan. Hack animations have changed again, as well as the rewards as well. In fact, with uh, Money in the Bank, you now get a pack instead of a reward, which is, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool touch. But there's still no pull animation, which means I'm a sad panda. But the one thing people are really hyped about this update for, well, they were until they saw how difficult it was, is the heroic cards. So... Basically, this Road to Glory, which they've souped up, has got lots of Hall of Famers in it. It's got lots of people from Monday Night Raw. They've got Reza Ramon, you've got The Undertaker, Chris Jericho, Triple H. And then, no Titan, no Stone Cold Steve Austin's there. Because incoming random Goldberg, Goldberg just shows up out of nowhere. This is a brand new event card announced by Supercard yesterday. And this poses the biggest question and the biggest mystery of them all but before we get into the main section of this upload if you like what you see smash the like button you beautiful people subscribe to the channel to see more and you can easily do that now by going to my description or comment section and simply clicking the link and that automatically subscribes you just gotta press ok and it's all done and turn your notifications on as well if you want to be notified of all updates just like this <laughs> but let's get right into it so what has changed so heroic road to glory you're thinking to yourself probably it's not here where the hell has it gone well actually you don't have access to it from the start you have to complete road to glory first and it has been revealed as to what the undercards are on the other side so yes you have to get through the entirety of road to glory all up to this goldberg where you're going to complete this to get a brand new goldberg card before you can then move on to the heroic road to glory where i've got some screenshots to show you what it looks like and personally the art style impresses me a lot i like it but then the next bit really does open up a minefield of questions and it's quite ironic because Goldberg, if you don't remember, first season free card, which is a card a lot of people couldn't get. Now, this event is going to be one of those where the first heroic card is going to be one you can't get. But let's break down the heroic cards. A lot of people are asking me, JB, what are the heroic cards? Well, simply put, the heroic cards are a big upgrade on the current event cards. About a thousand points over the current event cards and i'm assuming it's some way of extending the life of the tier so people don't just keep getting the same event cards the same points and getting bored after a certain amount of time goldberg will be the first heroic event card although the initial screenshots seem to show that stone cold steve austin was going to be the first one but alas it doesn't seem that's going to happen there was even a screenshot showing page in fact if i go to the uh, help section, where's the help help center? If I go all the way down to the heroic events, you'll see that if we have a look, you've got a page there, which has the heroic event as well. So I'm still confused as to whether it's something you can get like upgrades for these superstars, but to be able to get access to those heroic cards, you need to complete the current event, whether that's ring domination or road to glory. And when you complete that ring domination or road to glory, you get yourself not only that brand new event card, but a whole bunch of new cards to complete. And I don't need to tell you that takes a lot of time. I mean, to speed up an entire road to glory over an entire weekend is going to cost you around about, I don't know, 1,500 to 4,000 credits. To do another one afterwards, it's literally impossible to do this without spending credits because of limited ads, uh, titles, etc. It's just not going to be anywhere near as easy as people may have thought and hoped it would be. 
But this is something the game has needed for a, a, a long time. Maybe not as mind-numbingly boring, because, look, ring domination, I'd happily take the challenge of doing that, and something I'd actually enjoy quite a lot, because I tend to finish ring domination one or two days into the event. This event, however, oh, just, yeah. The thought of doing a road to glory from start to finish, and then again from start to finish, makes me physically, physically ill that I've got to spend that much time doing it. It does make me wonder whether I should be doing something better with my time than grinding two Road to Glories back to back. Ring Domination, cool with this. Maybe not so much. They weren't lying when they said it'd be hard, but the rewards are pretty cool. If you are a person who's happy to go through events, but maybe not so happy to open packs, if you have missed out on any of the throwback and the Hall of Fame cards, in the next section of Road to Glory, you're going to be able to get yourself your hands on some really cool Hall of Fame and the Titan being the best Titan in the tier. Now, whether this is the only time that's going to be offered, I would assume that this is like a special benefit for those who really want to push further forward in the tier and get themselves that heroic Goldberg. Now, I have my own personal opinion about the heroic modes. I'm honestly not going to go through that because I don't think it really helps anyone me giving my opinion about the entire event. But I am going to give you the pros and cons of the heroic mode. It is exciting, but it does raise a big question because of the way that they've set this event out. The pros are that elitists finally get the cards they've been wanting since Season 1. A big complaint from a lot of big players who are either heavy spenders or are heavy players is that they've never had a card that really respects their efforts and this is that exactly what people asked for the, the the hardcore i'm gonna spend a hell of a lot of money on the game i want something to show for it instead of the same event card as everyone else this honestly is that thing it's that elitist achievement that you unlock by being that dedicated to the game. And you know what? If you can do both events and get yourself a heroic pro, then I salute you. However, it is possible to pro a heroic and a non-heroic. So it's not all doom and gloom if you only get yourself the heroic from Ring Domination and the normal event card from Road to Glory. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to name these. I'm going to call a half heroic a hybrid heroic so we'll call it a hybrid heroic from now on and anyone who gets both heroic cards and i'm certainly going to be shooting for that with this road to glory i'm going to call a true heroic pro because that means you've got both heroics you can bind them together and it all works fine another good thing is it creates cards that are unique because it's a very extreme difficulty to be able to obtain them especially if you're in the lower tiers this really does push the bar up with WWE Supercard. And it's the first time since Season 2 they have done that. It is quite innovative. Although this has taken an idea from a couple of other big games, it is innovative in the fact that you get these kind of cards. Maybe not so innovative in uh, the way you get them, but the fact that you got the cards in the first place is quite cool. And it's a challenge. Dare I say it again, it's a challenge. People are asking for challenges. This is a challenge. Although I personally, and I still believe this, across mobile games in general, you should always have the opportunity to get this if it's free. And that's my biggest con of this entire thing. And that is, it is physically impossible to do this for free. You have to spend credits to get a chance at this Goldberg <laughs> heroic card. It Across Ring Domination and Road to Glory, now that unlimited ads are no longer a thing, it is impossible. I've worked out the timings. It just cannot be done. And this is even if you've got the best deck in the game. You physically cannot get enough titles, enough bouts, enough time to do this. And one of my biggest concerns of that is that will start to drive people away. People have been used to, for the last two years, of being able to get the cards they want 
And now the event cards are being made unreachable unless you're willing to put down some serious coin. Now, realistically speaking, it probably won't cost you that much. If you took the event quite easily and you had a pretty decent deck, maybe Titan, Monster Plus Plus, you would probably get through it for about 4,000 credits. You know, it's not that hard. It's just a lot of time. But another con I'm going to give you is Road to Glory twice really the whole way through i mean i'm not joking you start from the summer sam card all over again and that's just like and a question why do people have to start as lower summer slam anyway for the heroic mode and, I, and i'm gonna ask this question to all of you anyone going for this heroic card anyone who completes this goldberg card is probably in the position that a summer slam card at least up until beast card probably doesn't matter to them anymore so my question is why is it not just beast to titan with the additional access on afterwards that would make it somewhat more accessible for free players but that's just my opinion honestly i think that every card from summer Sam to summer Sam 17 in that brand new heroic mode is pretty much worthless unless you are in a lower tier and you spent some crazy amount of credits to get yourself beyond goldberg you are probably not going to really benefit from having any of those undercards but it is nice that this first event and maybe other going forward for throwbacks as a way of obtaining the throwbacks through normal methods instead of having to open up packs and whatnot it'll be interesting to see how they you know present this going forward because i'd have done it this time is perfect i mean maybe they could have done like a throwback summer sam card but honestly the, the way they've done it this time is perfect there's hall of fame cards in there there's cards you can't usually get access to titan undertaker i'm sure they could throw in a titan female here and there so which could make it even better to be able to get the heroic card because you're gonna get yourself some cards that maybe no one has yet maybe they could throw in some exclusive new hall of fame cards or throwbacks whenever they come out whenever whatever updates they do they could easily throw those in however the reaction to the heroic mode has not been that positive despite this most people are as you could probably understand a little bit miffed that they're being asked to pay yet again and this is a regular theme unfortunately with supercard is that it seems everything new in the game everybody's got a price and million dollar man certainly wants you to pay that price so we're going to get right into some road to glory whilst i'm talking about the next bit because this bit when i noticed i was like hmm that's interesting this could potentially be a big change and potentially a huge secret within this update and this is because in this event it has been confirmed that you do not get the pro goldberg in this event which marks the first event since well actually technically since season three where ring domination has not been the first event to obtain a card i mean we're not counting aj stars because that was team events but the first solo event where ring domination was the first time you were able to obtain an event card. It's in Road to Glory. I want to ask Cat Daddy and anyone else really in the comments section and what your thoughts is how are you supposed to get the Goldberg Pro? Especially if you're grinding all this way to get a heroic card and then you find out you can't even pro it. Well, this could be the secret that's hiding within the update. To start an event with Road to Glory is very, very rare. In fact, it hasn't been done since season one so to start an event with a solo road to glory would lead you to think that this goldberg card you can see on the screen now might be part of something potentially bigger the first and you're seeing a few new animations on the screen by the way as well watch watching this off what i showed these off to you lots of people have missed the fact that you cannot obtain this goldberg through ring domination first and that you cannot get access to the pro in this road to glory could there be another secret in this update that we don't know yet could it be that they have reversed the order of events from road to glory to ring domination to ring domination road to glory or another potential thing is they could be debuting a brand new event soon which might also be the reason why we got war mode instead of royal rumble this week because it wasn't scheduled to be royal rumble 
And we had this brand new Women's Royal Rumble mode come in as well. Although I can't imagine many people are going to be happy about playing for the first event card in Road to Glory. Could also be a hint between now and when uh, WrestleMania 34 is as to when the next tier is dropping. It could also be a hint towards maybe they're reversing it to allow it to be a flash event later on. Also, they can do a double card event at some point in the future. Maybe they're just switching things up. Oh, the second thing is that they are going to debut a brand new event, WWE Supercard, which could take the place instead of Ring Domination for the next event. And then they could start Ring Domination again, Road to Glory, next event. Ring Domination, Road to Glory, next event. And as you see, things now start to become a little bit more varied. So, so you don't have to do Road to Glory, Ring Domination. You might be doing Road to Glory plus new event. And then starting off the next event card on Ring Domination Road to Glory. That would be the ideal situation. But I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Especially about the whole heroic card things. The nightmare scenario would be, and I don't want to maybe fuel there. <laughs> this could be very interesting. Is that we could end up getting, with a Women's Royal Rumble, we could end up getting a Women's Ring Domination God help us all if that happens. Honestly, it could be as simple, and we may be looking into it too much. It could be as simple as them reversing the order. Although, my saying with Supercard from my time playing the game from Season 1 to now is, there is no smoke without fire and purchases. So again, thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video if you like what you see. Share it on with your friends to make sure we get the word out potentially about this secret that might be hiding within this update. Subscribe to the channel whilst you're there and turn notifications on to make sure you don't miss a single Supercard Mayhem or Champions video. And I have been Super Zombie God Barbecue. You guys have been awesome. And one last thing, and that is two. Sorry! It's just me and you